Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic has arrived in Seattle, the first stop on his week-long U.S. tour. The Prime Minister will be visiting America's leading IT companies, Microsoft, Cisco, Oracle, HP and IBM, in an effort to promote Croatia as an investment opportunity for high-tech businesses. Milanovic was asked recently what he was planning to offer these companies, but declined to give details, explaining that it would not be prudent to do so ahead of the meetings. Eight months after he was tossed out of the People's Party, its former leader, Radimir Čačić, formed a new party today, the People's Reformist Party. More than a thousand members gathered in Zagreb for the inaugural party convention, which elected Čačić as party president. The reformists have attracted a number of former HNS party members loyal to Čačić, including MPs Natalia Martinčević and Petar Baranović. Members of the Croatian Peasants Party gathered today in Strahoninets near Čakovets to commemorate their founder and first party leader, Stepan Radić, an important historical figure who turned Croatia's peasantry into a viable political force in the early decades of the 20th century. Peasants Party MEP Mariana Petir attended the gathering. She criticized Agriculture Minister Tihomir Yakovina for failing to apply on time to the European Commission for aid to farmers affected by Russia's ban on Western imports. Zagreb's Komedia City Theatre opened its new season last night with a performance of the operetta The Split Aquarelle by Croatian composer Ivo Tijardovic. The composer dedicated the work to the people of his beloved city of Split. The Split Aquarelle, along with Tijardovic's other most popular operetta, Mala Flora Mi, are enduring favorites and have been performed regularly since their debut in the late 1920s. In sports, Croatia's men have won the bronze medal at the European Team Table Tennis Championships in Lisbon after losing to Germany 3-1 on Saturday evening in the semi-finals. Croatia's top player Andre Gacina scored the only victory for the team, defeating Stefan Mengel 3-1 in sets. Germany and host Portugal will meet in the men's final today while Austria and Germany battle it out in the women's final. Croatia's women finished 19th in the competition. In domestic first league football action, Slaven Belupa played to a 0-0 draw in Koprivnica. Rijeka beat Zagreb 3-0 at home. Andrej Kramaric led the home team, scoring twice by the 26th minute of play. He is the league's top scorer with 13 goals this season. Krstanovic netted the final goal. Dinamo leads the rankings in round 10 with 26 points, two points ahead of second place Rijeka. In today's matches, Lokomotiva take on Osijek and Istra play Hajduk. Split and Zadar will finish out round 10 of play on Monday. In basketball, Cervita captured their second Dražen Petrovic Cup title after beating Cibona two games to one. The competition consisted of games between the team's senior, cadet and junior squads. Croatia's women are playing Germany this afternoon in the final game of the group stage of the World Volleyball Championships in Rome. Croatia have already secured their place in the next phase of the competition. In handball, PDD Zagreb play tonight in Game 1 of the European Champions League season against Germany's Kiel at the Zagreb Arena. This afternoon's forecast calls for mostly sunny skies with a chance of some light to moderate cloud cover in some parts of the interior. Light breezes inland on the coast of light to moderate northwesterly. Afternoon highs will range from 19 to 23 degrees Celsius inland and up to a pleasant 25 degrees on the coast. In the week ahead, more sunshine but expect morning fog and low clouds which may linger in some areas. A new system carrying moist air will arrive by Wednesday, bringing a chance of light rain in the evening. On the coast, sunny and warm, there is a chance of some light clouds on Tuesday. On Wednesday, increasing clouds on the northern and central sections of the coast and a chance of rain. Mild breezes will give way to rising northwesterly on Wednesday.